So the best thing that we can do is vaccinate everybody. And that stops transmission so the virus doesn't mutate. If you are not vaccinated yet, you remain at risk. We are going to continue to see preventable cases, hospitalizations, and sadly deaths among the unvaccinated. So if you haven't done so yet, now is the time to get vaccinated. I want to emphasize that people who are unvaccinated account for a majority of the new infections, hospitalizations, and deaths. We are seeing outbreaks of cases in different parts of the country, especially those that have low vaccination coverage because unvaccinated people are at risk and communities that are fully vaccinated are faring way better than those communities that aren't. Well, we have to recognize that we are in a far better position than we were in January, February, March, or even April. It is quite clear that this pandemic is not over. The good news is that if you are vaccinated, you, are, you have good protection against severe COVID-19 and hospitalization. And you are protected against the variants that are circulating today in the country, including the Delta variant. So I think one thing that we really need to do, and, and this is an area of focus for CDC right now, is ensuring access and equity in terms of um, getting vaccines into communities, making sure we're generating the demand for vaccine, and then also targeting those hot spots where we're seeing a lot of transmission. I, I think that masks are extremely important and preventive measures are still very important, um, particularly in those people I just spoke about. Um, so children under the age of 12 who are unvaccinated, persons who are immunocompromised, who um, even if they have been vaccinated may not actually um, be fully protected against COVID-19 that we, we have opportunities to still um, promote the other preventive measures as well. Um, masking's one of them, social distancing is another, making sure you're avoiding crowded places, um, especially indoor poorly ventilated spaces, um, if you're unvaccinated is, is advised. CDC um, still has clear recommendations for masks in some settings. Uh, we are still talking about what happens in, in in um, homeless shelters or correctional facilities. And so th the message is not black and white. And that has been one of the most complex things around this pandemic, that messages are not always black and white and that they evolve based on the stage of the pandemic where we are at. A year ago, we didn't have vaccines. Today, we have them. We know that the vaccines are good, so we are protected. We can be around most people without any risk, but we can use the mask if we want to. If I live in some particular counties, I will use it all the time if I am outside because vaccination rates there may be 40% only or, or things like that. And as, as Dr. Hicks mentioned, when we're talking about schools in, in, in our new guidance, we made some specific recommendations for some uh, use of the mask there as appropriate under different circumstances. So, so please don't, don't say that CDC says don't use masks because we never said that. Um, we said that with the vaccines that we have today in the US, those of us who are vaccinated have a good level of protection, but the mask has a value and value in some particular settings and local and state communities will be able to decide if based on their epidemiology, they need to do something different. I think that the message for vaccinated people right now is one of reassurance because I, there have been a lot of questions about whether individuals need extra doses of vaccine or booster doses, um, but we're not seeing that in our data right now. And we're, we're tracking the data on, on vaccine effectiveness, um, breakthrough infections, and 
the severity of infections in, in both vaccinated and unvaccinated populations. And the vast majority, the vast majority of people who are landing in our hospitals and, and dying from COVID right now are people who are unvaccinated. So I, I really think that that's the message um, that we need to convey is that if, if you're vaccinated, you, you are most likely protected. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't continue to take caution um, you know, if there are circumstances where you're concerned about being around people who have COVID. Right now, we're not seeing any indication that we'll need booster doses, but if they will be indicated, will it likely be um, the same, the same um, companies or manufacturers who are providing our current vaccines.